Today I'm following. Wait! <laughs> Sorry, I forgot to turn my mug back around. <laughs> People need to see the dinosaur. <clears throat> Today on Follow the Money, we're going to look at how big money and big government come together to defy the will of the people and undermine the power of local laws. Our story starts in Denton, Texas. Last November, the people of Denton voted to ban a natural gas extraction process called hydraulic fracturing, or fracking, in their city. Probably because they were sick of seeing this sort of thing in their backyard. It smells horrible. We can see smoke puffing up over their walls, and it just blows directly over our homes. Yeah, as it turns out, most people aren't wild about drilling rigs going up right next to homes and schools. And despite being outspent 19 to 1 by the oil and gas industry, a citizen-backed referendum to ban fracking in Denton actually won. This is a mandate from the people of Denton. We live on this land, and we're going to take back our town. That was awesome. This is local government doing exactly what governments are supposed to do. So obviously big money f***ed it up immediately. Mm -hmm. The governor of Texas, Greg Abbott, has signed a bill into law that prohibits cities and towns from banning a gas drilling practice known as hydraulic fracking. A bill called HB 40 was overwhelmingly passed by the Texas state legislature and signed into law by Governor Greg Abbott. This bill straight up bans local communities from making their own decisions about oil and gas drilling. They literally wrote a law to stop towns like Denton from writing their own laws. Instead, this call is now in the hands of the state agency called the Texas Railroad Commission? Is that right? Ah yes, the Texas Railroad Commission. It's an agency so old it's still named after the days when its main business was overseeing the state's railroads. But it has a new job now, regulating the oil and gas industry. Although, actually, it, regulating yeah, might be no, too strong not. a word. You mean nudging? No, still too much. Coddling? Still too strong. So Exactly. Mm. We'll give you three guesses where the politicians on the Texas Railroad Commission get their campaign money. Railroad commissioners got 76% of their contributions from the industry they regulate. So yeah, the Texas state legislature overwhelmingly voted to turn decisions on local fracking bans over to a commission that is completely bought by the oil and gas industry. In what we're sure is a completely unrelated coincidence, members of the state legislature also received more than $5 million from the oil and gas industry in the last election cycle alone. But here's the thing, this isn't only about fracking or the oil and gas industry, it's a perfect example of what happens when big money combines with big government to strip citizens of their right to govern themselves. Take Governor Greg Abbott. Now this is a man who ran a campaign centered around protecting local communities from overzealous government overreach. And he championed this idea of local control. Like in this slick campaign video titled, and this is not a joke, Greg Abbott will return local control to Texas schools. I guess unless those schools are near a fracking well, in which case, <laughs> f*** off kids. Now he is clearly singing a different tune. Governor-elect Greg Abbott has declared war on a growing list of local regulations. It's an odd statement for a man who sued the federal government at least 40 times, all with the central premise that you can't tell local governments what to do. Apparently the $9 million from the oil and gas industry changed his mind. I'm pretty sure that's the definition of a sellout. It is the biggest sellout since Sprite's LeBron mix became a thing. We know you didn't really mix that Sprite LeBron. This is what happens when you have a political system that's been completely corrupted by money. Whenever this issue comes up, it's easy to get distracted by the partisan an angle. Democrats are mad at Republicans for taking money, and Republicans are mad at Democrats for also taking money. Yeah. Here's the thing, though. Corruption costs all of us the right to protect our own communities, and that is why it is so important for us to fight back now, you know, while we actually still can. Thanks for watching Follow the Money. Please help us spread the word about corruption by passing this along to your friends and family, and follow the links at the end of the video or in the description to subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Mansoor. And I'm Zip. And we are Represent Us. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great, whatever Whatever time of day it is where you are. Hey. <laughs>